All right, so here's New Egg. This finishes at $76.57. That is up 148.42% today. Please like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is XELA. Uh, so for the past week, this was trending. Everyone is screaming, it's going to squeeze, it's going to squeeze the next MRIN. Well, at first it, it looked like it was going to squeeze. Uh, gapped up from $150 to about $3. And then it pulled back pretty significantly. Back to uh, $180. And then everyone's like, oh. Maybe there is going to be no squeeze. And then yesterday, pumped up. Today, pumped up again. Maybe it is going to squeeze after all. So, uh, yeah, this finishes at $3.29. That is up 22.76% today. And this morning in the pre-market, this was down like 10%. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And then throughout the day, especially towards the end of the day, it just kept running and running. Finishes up over 20%. So yeah, maybe there is going to be a squeeze after all. We'll have to see. So let's analyze this. So right now, it's trading between this sideways channel, uh, this rectangle of $3.60 and $3.20. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be $3.60, $4.10, $4.60, $5.50, $6.10, and then the high of... 783 and if this goes to the downside next level of support would be 320 280 245 215 two dollars 190 170 150 and it would fill this gap down here at around 150 and then 125 and then a dollar so there is this gap up here at 150 ish you know usually the gaps still fill not saying this one will you know with these meme stocks a lot of these gaps have not filled they just keep running, but traditionally the gaps do fill. So I just got to mention that. Yeah, there was also a gap down from 360. So that gap is likely to fill probably pretty soon. It's almost there. So we got two gaps to fill. One back here, gap down 360, and one over here, a gap up at 150. The RSI is at 76. So right now it is an overbought, overvalued territory. Uh, it was a couple trading sessions ago, and then it pulled back, and then it wasn't anymore. And now it is again. So it's at 76. Uh, not crazy overbought and overvalued, but it, it is in that territory now. So, you know, guys, just be careful. The volume was 325 million today. A lot of volume. Not quite as much as the past few trading sessions, but still significant volume. I think that is the fourth largest volume day ever. So yeah, uh, this pump today is not a fluke. It was confirmed by the volume. Just looking at the chart, there's a lot of upside potential here. You know, these channels are really wide to the upside. There's really not too much resistance. So if this keeps going to the upside, there's going to be a lot of price action and really nothing holding it back. So if this does continue to pump, expect a moonshot. Not financial advice, but yeah, you know, really wide channels. If this breaks 410, that's really like the last thing holding it back right here. The resistance at 410. For the downside, there's a lot of support. So not too much downside potential here. The channels are pretty decently sized, but after 215, the channels get really narrow. So a lot of support after 215. A lot of upside potential, not too much downside potential. And also this is like a, a cup and handle forming right here. The top of the cup can either be the all time high, 782. Or it could be 610. But yeah, we do see a cup forming here. It's not complete yet. But if this does keep running to the upside, this will complete the cup either at 6 or 782. So that's a bullish sign. Cup and handle is forming. The lack of resistance is another bullish sign. So a lot of bullish indicators here. However, uh, the RSI and the volume are bearish indicators. You know, those are likely to pull back. Uh, RSI says overvalued, can't expect over 300 million volume every day, so that's likely to pull back. So those are bearish signals. 
So we're getting mixed signals here. So in my personal opinion, not financial advice, if you want to go long, seems like a pretty good play here. I wouldn't pay too much attention to the RSI and uh, the volume because this is a meme stock now. You can't use too much logic when it comes to these things. Uh, I hate to say that, but it's true. You can't analyze it rationally. Due to that, due to the cup and handle, or the gap down all the way back here at 360, and these wide channels and lack of resistance, this looks really, really bullish to me. The only thing I'd be concerned about is this gap up here at 150. Not guaranteed it's going to fill, but that, that worries me a little bit. That says that this may come back down to 150 to fill the gap. But other than that, this looks like a really, really bullish chart. A lot of upside potential, wide channels. So if this moves to the upside, there's going to be a lot of price action and not much resistance holding it back. If this moves to the downside, the channels are pretty decently sized. Uh, but once it hits 215, there's a lot of support there. So it's going to be difficult to break all that support past 215. So th that's pretty bullish. So I would say, if you want to go long, I support it. Seems like a good play, not financial advice. I just don't really see a reason to go short here. Like you can make some money, but for the reasons I just said, a lot of support. There's a lot of positive sentiment on this. It's a meme stock now. So you're risking getting short squeezed for a little bit of money. Not really worth it. It's probably just better not to short this at all. Doesn't seem very logical. So yeah, we might be getting a squeeze after all. I certainly hope so. I hope everyone makes tendies on this. So we'll see where this goes in the, in the next few trading sessions. Congratulations to everyone who made money today. And good luck to everybody who is going to take a position in this stock. Or currently in this stock. Alright, so here's New Egg. This finishes at $76.57. That is up 148.42% today. Yeah, insane, insane run. Uh, this was a short squeeze. So, you know, this was trending past couple of days. Uh, it was slowly going up. Had a few good days of uh, green here. And then today, it just absolutely took a moonshot. A and yeah, uh, this is most definitely a meme stock now because, you know, this is like one of these companies that everyone thought was done. That should have been done. And the apes are bringing it back. You know, like GME, like AMC. You know, New Egg... I remember I used to order off of this site like 10 years ago. I used to order video games. I ordered a TV off this site. I didn't even know this site existed anymore. <laughs> so pretty funny stuff. Let's analyze this. So yeah, uh, right now it's sitting at the support of 67.50, which it closed at today. So yeah, if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be the all-time high of $79, which it just set today. And if it blows past that, it's on to uncharted territory. The market will decide for itself at that point. Now, if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be all the way back at 30 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty scary. <laughs> that's pretty, pretty scary. Very, very large channel there. Very, very wide channel. From 76.50 all the way back down to 30. Yikes. And then if it goes below 30, if it breaks 30, next level of support would be 23.40. And then... $20. And then there's a lot of support below that, but no point in even discussing that at this point. So the RSI is currently at 95. So extremely, extremely overbought, extremely overvalued, and incredible volume today. It did 75, it did 76 million volume, which is by far the biggest volume day ever. Next biggest volume day was like 40 million. So almost double the previous largest volume day. So yeah, this pump was not a fluke. It's confirmed by the volume. If you want to go long on this right now, I definitely recommend not to do that. That's really, really dangerous. It already pumped really hard all week. I don't see how much more this can run. I mean, maybe it will, but really can't go that, that much farther. RSI is insane. Extremely overbought. Extremely overvalued. Volume is insane. We're not going to get, you know, 75 million in volume again. Most likely not. And we got this huge channel, as discussed, from 76.50 all the way down to 30. So really, really bearish indicators here. Really not a good idea if you want to go long. I would not recommend that. Not financial advice. And if you want to go short, seems like a really good play. For the reasons just discussed. 
high RSI, extremely overvalued, overbought, incredible volume. The volume is most likely going to pull back. And we got this crazy channel here. You know, honestly, it's looking like it's coming back to 30, just based on the chart, not financial advice. If you want to go short, that looks like a pretty good play here. I'm probably going to do it myself, but uh, just a warning, this is a meme stock, very un unpredictable, so you never know what's going to happen. Seems like an obvious short play, but just be cautious. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, um, don't recommend going long. That'd be suicide, <laughs> pretty much. And if you want to go short, seems like a good play. Uh, I can support that. Just be careful. This is incredible. No one expected this. Uh, looks like we got a, a new meme stock. New egg. Yeah, congratulations to everyone who made tendies on this today. Incredible run. Very happy for you guys. And good luck to everyone who's looking to take a position. Don't know why you would go long, but good luck to you if you want to. Yeah, you know, um, I'm probably going to short this one. This is new egg, N-E-G-G. So here is M-M-A-T, Meta Materials. That finishes at $5.80. That is down 19.33%. Yeah, nasty. Nasty stuff. Yeah, this is getting wrecked. It was at 22 and just red, 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 red every single day. Just red. And it looked like it was consolidating. Nope. Psych. <laughs> Another dump. So that's really unfortunate. So yeah, uh, we got a gap down at 14. You know, at some point, this is likely to come back to 14. Can't say when, but... The gaps usually do fill. All right, so right now it's sitting pretty much on this support of 580. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 660, 740, $8, 850, 970, 1080, 1150, 14, 16, 1780, 20, and then the high of 2176. Now, if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 520, 450, 360, and then 270. This really, really should not go below 270. There's a lot of support there and a lot of support on the way down. So the RSI is at 43. So that is below average, not quite oversold, but below average, you know, average is 50. So this is a little bit undervalued here, I would say at 580 and the volume it did 16.7 million in volume today uh yeah the volume is coming down significantly honestly that kind of makes me think that today's sell-off 20 percent sell-off kind of a fluke because it's not confirmed by volume this could just be a one-off day hopefully the sell-off of 20 percent is not really justified by the volume which is a good thing that's a bullish sign there's a lot of support and resistance right here from uh 1150 all the way down to 260. You know, a lot of support and resistance both ways. Either way this goes, it's going to be a lot of fighting. But there's a lot of support all the way through to uh, the bottom. Uh, for that reason, there's more upside potential than downside potential. If this breaks 1150, then the channel starts to, to get wide and open up. Once this breaks 1150, we're going to see a lot more price action. So it can easily go back to the high of 2176. Once this breaks 11.50, now it might be a little difficult to reach 11.50 at first, but once it does, it's on the way to the upside from there. If you want to go long right here, seems like a pretty decent play. This might not be the bottom yet, and actually it could be because it did look like it was consolidating. You know, it looked like 6.60 was the bottom, and then today, psych, sold off. But again, um, not too much volume to justify this, so hopefully... The sell-off today was just a fluke, and we don't have to worry about it too much. If you want to go long, seems like a pretty decent play. Uh, just know that you might have to hold for a while. It might take a little bit to, to go all the way back up to 11.50, but once it does, you know, it's on the way to the upside from there. Oh yeah, and also the gap down at 14, that's a bullish signal. So I would support going long as long as you're willing to hold for a little bit. It, it might be a little difficult to break through this resistance at first. Now, if you want to go short, I really don't see a point in that. There's a lot of support here, and I mean, it can't really go down that much more. I think the absolute lowest it would go is 270, and even reaching that is kind of doubtful. Our RSI is pretty low already, so I don't think it really makes sense logically to go short. Uh, I would not recommend that. There's a lot of better opportunities out in the market to make a short play on.
A lot of bullish indicators here. Not too many bearish indicators. None at all, actually. Yeah, uh, that is Meta Materials. Sorry to everyone who lost money on this today. Really, really nasty. Um, but, as a wise man once said, buy the effing dip. Not financial advice, but this looks like a good buying opportunity after this major pullback. And good luck to everyone who is currently holding this stock and who is looking to, to make a play on this. That is Meta Materials, MMAT. Okay, so here is MRIN, Marin Software. This has been trending for a while now. Still a lot of drama going on. Yeah, so this finishes at $19.24. That is down 20.3% today. Whoa! Whoa! Disgusting. So this is just one of the many meme stocks that are getting slaughtered today. So let's analyze. Okay, right now it's trading between this rectangle, the sideways channel of $20 and 18.80 so if this goes to the upside next level of resistance would be 20 dollars 21.50 25.50 and then the high of 27.26 and if it breaks 27.26 then we would be in uncharted territory uh the market will decide for itself if this goes to the downside next level of support would be 18.80 17.30 15.10 13.30 11.90 10.30 9.30, 8.30, and then 5.70. And then there's a bunch after that, but uh, yeah, we're not even going to talk about that. A lot of support after uh, 5.70. So the RSI is currently at 69, lol. Not overvalued, but pretty much. Overvalued is 70, it's at 69, so pretty much overvalued, you know. Uh, just be careful. Uh, it did 20.5 million in volume today which is still pretty significant, but a lot less than the previous trading sessions where this pumped up. Uh, just like MMAT, that kind of tells me that this sell-off today, this 20% sell-off, is kind of a fluke. Uh, the sell-off is not justified by the volume. These channels are pretty decently sized here. Either way this goes, there's going to be some pretty decent price action here. Yeah, if this breaks 2150, there's a lot of upside potential. Very wide channel from 2150 and 2550. And then once it breaks the all-time high, 2726, it's all the way onto the upside. That being said, it's probably a lot more likely that this is going to pull back than it will go to the upside. Because this has been on an incredible run. This literally went from like $2 to 27 bucks. We're starting to see some pullback. And it seems healthy. Honestly, the, the run from 2 to 27 was totally unjustified. A and according to the RSI... Uh, this is, you know, overbought right now. So, personally, I would say this is more likely to go to the downside than it is the upside. But if it does, in fact, go to the upside, you know, there's going to be a lot of price action, especially if it breaks 2150. But yeah, either way, there's going to be a lot of price action, upside or downside. If you want to go long, I probably wouldn't do that. Not saying it won't go up, but that's pretty risky at this point. Uh, not as risky as yesterday. Uh, RSI is coming down, but still pretty risky. Still in overbought territory. Just looking at the chart, it does look like it's going to pull back, honestly. Logically, this seems like a good short play, but this is a meme stock we're talking about. So this is really unpredictable. While it looks like it's going to come down, it looks like a good short play based on the technicals. You never know what's going to happen with these, these type of stocks. So you really don't want to get caught in a short squeeze here. So for that reason... Personally, I wouldn't short this either. Uh, I think this is one to stay away from. I think the best play is just to stay away from this if you currently don't have a position. Because long or short, uh, it's going to be really risky. It's more like gambling at this point, not investing. There's going to be a lot of price action. So if you do decide to take a position, that could either pay off really well or go really bad. No in between. If you want to take a position in the stock, do it at your own risk. You're either going to make a lot of money or lose a lot of money. So uh, for that reason, I, I think it's better just to stay away from it altogether. Uh, don't even mess with this. So yeah, this is MRIN, Marin Software. Sorry to everyone who lost money today. Disgusting. That's unfortunate. You know, normally when things pull back, it's a good buying opportunity, but I wouldn't buy into this just yet. Seems like this potentially could have a lot more room to the downside. More likely to come back down than it is to go to the upside, but you never know. So we'll, we'll see what happens with this. Either way, there's going to be a lot of price action, a lot of fireworks. It's going to be really entertaining. 
So, good luck to everyone who is currently in this stock or looking to take a position in this stock. This is Marin Software, M-R-I-N. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please, like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on The Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.